Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through depth of first iterative deepening search. So the advantage in BFS, what is the advantage guys? So in BFF, B, sorry, BFS, there is a large usage of memory that is disadvantage and the advantage is that it is going to find the goal node pretty faster and in a better way. Whereas the advantage in DFS is nothing but it, say, it saves or it stores in the less memory. So these two advantages are combined and formed this depth first iterative search guys. So let us go through the points. So it is a combination of DFS and BFS. Okay. So it will find a goal node at any way. So it's going to find the goal node in any way guys. Whatever may happen, it's going to find the goal node for sure if it is exists, if it exists. So they both the advantages of BFS and DFS are nothing but it finds a goal node and it consumes less memory. So these two advantages are found in this depth of first iterative search. So what are the advantages guys? So the advantage is nothing but it will find the goal node, it consumes less memory, it's the same advantages. And the disadvantage is nothing but few nodes are visited again and again. So if you notice once we are going through the problem, you'll be understanding that few nodes we are visiting again and again. So here B will be visited again and again, C will be visited like that. There are few nodes which will be visiting again and again. So let us assume H is our goal node, it's here guys. So we need to write levels also, right? Level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3, fine? Okay, so the solution will be started in this way guys. Okay, so here you will be reading or you will be taking the graph only level by level. So initially only level 0, for that you will be adding level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4 like that. And for each level, once you include a level, you will be doing the depth first search. So this is a combination of breadth and depth. So that's the reason why we are breaking the whole graph into parts. Okay. So at level zero, we are having only A. So at level zero, the initial leave, it is A. Okay. So at level one, if you notice, we added the level one. So A, B, C, D. So from A, it goes to B. From B, it goes to C. From C, it goes to D. So this algorithm we are applying here is nothing but depth first search, guys. Okay. So after that, at did we reach to any goal node, guys? No. So at level 3, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So if you start here, 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 here. So write the order A, B, C, sorry, A, B, E, C, F, G, H, D, H. So at the end you reach it to the H, that is nothing but a goal node, right? So I told that we will be visiting again and again. So if you observe here, A is repeated in everything. B is repeated in these two. C is repeated in these two. D is repeated in these two. So like that you will be finding some repetitions, guys. So... Once we reach the final node, so there is no need to continue with the next level guys. So when you compare, this is better than our previous DFS and BFS guys. So I hope everyone got a small idea guys. In the next lecture, we'll be going through bi-directional search guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.